Dangerous Irma heads towards Leeward Islands. I'm Mike Naso from the Tropical Update page on YouTube with the latest on Dangerous Major Hurricane Irma, which is headed straight west right now, west-southwest, in the general direction of the Leeward Islands. You can see it there on the water vapor loop, looking much better defined than it has overnight. It got better organized this morning. The uh, recon has been flying out there and is finding that it's getting stronger. Certainly a Category 3 hurricane closing in on Category 4 intensity, forecast to strengthen over the next couple of days and head very close, if not over, the northern Leeward Islands, areas of the British and U.S. Virgin Islands. You guys are already under hurricane watches, and down the road, it does not look good for the Bahamas and potentially the southeastern coast of the United States. Now here's the latest on Hurricane Irma as of 5 a.m. Eastern Time. It was at 16.9 north, 52.3 west. Maximum sustained winds were 115 miles per hour with higher gusts, although what the uh, recon plane has been finding means it might be stronger than that. It's moving west-southwest at about 13 or 14 miles per hour. 961 millibars was the pressure at 5 a.m., but it's been recorded uh, by the plane that has dropped as low as 951, so this is intensifying. And uh, we have a hurricane watch in effect for Antigua, Barbuda, Anguilla, Montserrat, St. Kitts, and Nevis, as well as Saba, St. Eustatius, St. Martin, St. Barthelemy, all under a hurricane watch as uh, within, say, 36 hours, those tropical storm winds and then the hurricane winds uh, could well be impacting those islands. You can see it is forecast to be a 140 mile per hour category 4 storm through Wednesday as it moves through some of these islands or just to the north and then continue as a very dangerous hurricane in towards the Turks, Caicos, and then the southern Bahamas by the weekend and uh, even Cuba and the north coast of the Dominican Republic could be impacted if this westward trend we've seen in the models continues. However, it is entirely possible that we then see a curve back north after this, but it is still far too early to say. Right now, the best guess is that they're in pretty good agreement that this hurricane is going to bend back west, then west-northwest for several days, with a potential slight bend west by the time it gets towards, uh, say, Friday, and then again a turn towards the west-northwest. Florida, a lot of these models are starting to like you, which is not a good thing at all, especially since Irma's expected to remain an extremely dangerous hurricane throughout the entire forecast period. Now is the time to be overlooking where you would go should evacuations be ordered, and uh, make sure you have all your hurricane supply kit. Do it today, that way in case you don't need to take action, uh, it'll be all ready. If you do need to take action, you're set and good to go. Uh, but you don't want to wait until the last minute at all. After all, we just had a Category 4 hurricane hit Texas about a week and a half ago. This is the GFS model. The Zero Z takes it over the Florida Keys straight into Florida. This is about uh, 174 hours, so this would be on the 11th of September coming into Florida as a very dangerous hurricane. You can see the system behind Irma, the tropical wave, also becomes a hurricane, uh, but stays to the east. We're going to be watching that as well. So that's the GFS model. And by the way, this model map is from tropicaltidbits.com. Levi Cohen does videos. It runs a great website. Just want to give a shout out to Levi. There's another model map. You can see this is the Canadian, which takes it straight into the Florida Keys as well. And this is the European, which misses Florida as of the Zero Z, however, just ravages the Bahamas and goes right up the southeast coast of the United States as a very dangerous hurricane. So the trend in the last 24 hours has been quite scary for the southeastern U.S. to say nothing of the Bahamas, which if you're in the Bahamas, be getting ready now for this hurricane because it looks like Irma is headed your way. In the short term for the uh, U.S. Virgin Islands, the Leeward Islands, uh, Antigua, Barbuda. Barbuda, your weather today? Light and variable winds, slight chance of precip, pretty nice. Highs in the mid-80s. You would never know that such a monster is headed for you, but she is. And the weather is going to deteriorate very quickly 
as Irma heads your way, certainly winds of tropical storm force, and then winds of hurricane force later on. The only good news I'd say right now is that the wind field with Hurricane Irma is still very strong, but it appears to be beginning another eye wall replacement cycle. That's where the eye of the hurricane dissipates and then a new eye takes shape. Now, usually they weaken, but they also expand. So the hurricane force winds extend out a very short way from the center. However, in a couple of days as it moves just north of these islands or possibly even over some of the islands, it could be a much larger hurricane than it is now, spatially. So Tuesday morning into the afternoon is when we're going to start to see these tropical storm force winds in areas of the islands. Puerto Rico, you're not out of the woods by any stretch, uh, and that would be probably Wednesday morning into Wednesday afternoon. And then you can see the Turks and Caicos on Thursday, the central Bahamas Thursday night, and if it does get to Cuba or Florida, we would be talking Friday morning if tropical storm winds begin to impinge. So this is going to be a very busy week, uh, potentially, certainly for areas of the Caribbean and the Bahamas, but for the southeast coast as well. Anybody from the Florida Keys all the way up to the Carolinas needs to keep a very close eye on this dangerous major hurricane. There's as the sun comes up on the morning visible, Hurricane Irma looking very impressive. A uh, well-defined eye strengthening there. You can see the outflow. It has uh, very good ventilation right around there. Uh, the high pressure to the north as it pushes to the west-southwest, impinging on the islands here. You're beginning to see them in view, which is very ominous, to say the least, uh, for areas of those Caribbean islands. So in the final analysis this morning, Hurricane Irma is a dangerous, strengthening major hurricane moving west-southwest in the general direction of the Leeward Islands right now. If you are in those islands, if you are in Puerto Rico, if you are in the Turks, Caicos, Bahamas, if you are in the southeastern U.S. and Cuba, begin to overlook your hurricane plans right now. You should have already done it. And the closer you are to the hurricane, the less time you're going to have before these impacts begin as Irma looks to make a move towards these land masses over the next couple of days. We'll be back with frequent updates as uh, everybody will be watching Irma to see what she will do. I'm Mike Naso, and I'll talk to you guys next time.